Hey guys, Steve here with Accuracy X. Today I have something really fun to share with you. It's super cool, it's super old school, and it's going to be a lot of fun for you guys to see this. So what we're going to show you today is how they used to train armorers and gunsmiths on the 1911 platform before they had computers and PowerPoint and all of that kind of stuff. And it's, it's really, really neat. They did it with layered visual aids. They used an old school overhead projector, and they used these uh, visual aids or training aids to help aspiring or new armors get used to what the mechanical uh, interactions of the pistol were. So let's take a look inside here and see how they did it. So you can see the training aid comes in a protected hardwood box that protects what's inside of it. So let's open it up and take a look inside. So inside, you can see that they have these trays that are made out of plexiglass and they're colored so that when you take this and you put it on top of the overhead projector and when you turn the projector on, it projects that up so that the students could see the internals of the pistol and see all the parts and their color codes. So the instructor could walk them through how things function. So we'll take a quick look at this before I put it on the overhead projector. You can see that all these little uh, plexiglass pieces are color coded and they all move and everything interacts. And this is how it, this is really the magic when you put it on the overhead projector, why it works so well as a training aid. And this is a very, very cool uh, way to do this because all of these pieces actually interact and move and articulate. So here's the grip safety. And you can see the grip safety is actually blocking the trigger bow, just like it would in the pistol, showing uh, the armors and the gunsmiths that are in class how this actually is designed to work. So if it's, if, it's in, if it's in place where it's supposed to be, it blocks the trigger. And if it's depressed, it allows the trigger to move, engaging the other ignition parts. So now let's show how this actually works. If I take the grip safety and I move it out of the way so it's ready to fire, and then I push on the trigger, you're going to see that it actually is allowing all of these parts to start to show how they work. The hammer falls, it strikes, you see the firing pin engage up here where it would strike the primer, and you see the system work where everything is moving. And you even have the ability to show how the disconnector comes out and locks back in as the slide comes back. So this is a very interesting, very effective, but yet analog way to show people how the 1911 ignition system works. It's really great. So the one shows the ignition parts and the other one shows the barrel lockup. And let's go over this and take a look at this now. Okay, so we've pulled the trigger. Now we're gonna see what happens once the hammer falls. Hammer falls. The bullet is going to leave the barrel, the gases are going to cause the back pressure to come back, and you're going to see the slide start to come out, of, slide back, moving the barrel out of battery. And this is what's so great about this visual aid, is right here you see these radial lugs, how they inter interact with each other and lock up. You see right here the hood move down the breech face, and you see here how the standing lugs rotate around that slide stop pin as the barrel comes out of battery. How cool is that? And of course when it comes all the way back, it resets the hammer. Of course, it comes with an instruction manual to show the instructor how to manipulate and present each of the pieces on the overheads to the class so that they can uh, get the best out of the instruction. And you can see this was Robert L. Brady Company, and it's out of Washington, D.C. I doubt that company's still in business. Pretty neat stuff. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I thought it was pretty neat to be able to share this with everybody. And a big shout out to my buddy Lee Fleming. He allowed me to borrow this so that I could do this presentation and share it with everybody. And it's really neat to think about how many armors and gunsmiths over the decades might have been using these very visuals to learn their craft and make great 1911s. The gun's been around for over 100 years, and we're still working on it today, trying to make it as good as we can. I'm Steve with Accuracy X. We appreciate you watching. And hold them hard, guys.